One of the greatest things about PAX East is the huge indie mega booth where all the independent developers come from all over the world and show off their games to the public. And a game I saw this year is also a game I saw last year, but it's still one of my favorites. It's severed from Drinkbox Studios from Toronto. These are the studio that made Guacamelee, that sort of Mexican style luchador side scrolling platformer. Severed is very different. It's a dungeon crawler, but it uses a very similar uh, visual style to Guacamelee. It's very colorful, lots of big shapes, but really expressive at the same time. So Severed is a touch-based game, which might not sound like everyone's cup of tea, but this is actually a frantic kind of a combat experience when you're playing it. So essentially what you do is you swipe in different directions to cut off enemy body parts. But when you're facing more than one enemy, you actually have to rotate the camera. There are little dials that tell you, you know, how, how long you have to wait until the next enemy attack comes in. So you're constantly turning, attacking, and juggling, and you know, using time management in order to succeed. Uh, it's also got a lot of RPG mechanics. You earn uh, different experience points that let you like, upgrade different things. You can like, buy new equipment. Um, it's just a, a really beautiful game, and it's very fun. And Drinkbox Studios is really good at making expressive art, and that's why I love Severed. So as far as PAX 2015 goes, my favorite moment was definitely the indie game by two tribes called Rive. This is a side-scroller shooter where you basically you took on three forms, one in space, one in underwater, and one as like a spider walker. What was really cool about this was, um, you think of it as like a typical arcade shooter, but it had a lot of awesome like mechanics where you could hack different enemies around you and kind of put them on your side. So for instance, there was this boss and it had like a med bot that was giving it health. You hack it, put it on your side, and it could follow you for a short period of time, just like giving you shields and such. But in general, it was just a really like fluid, good looking game. There were a lot of moments where I was taken away by the attention to detail. For instance, the shells of your main gun would fire out, and depending on what environment you're in, they behave differently. So in space, they kind of floated away. In underwater, they kind of you know, stayed put and sink just slightly. And then on ground they would behave like normal shells, just you know, falling down. I'm really looking forward to it. I believe it comes out sometime this year, 2015, but it was definitely one of my favorites. I discovered a pretty cool game at PAX this year. It was called Jotun, and it is a hand-drawn Dark Souls. And I feel like it really is that you are this tiny little person, you're a tiny Viking in this massive world, and the demo was playing an enormous boss. He was massive, and you're sliding around on the ice, but what makes it really cool is this hand-drawn feeling. Uh, because I am a Viking, I have this sweet fur coat on, and the animation of the fur looks really nice when I'm running around in this world. So I think it's really easy on the eyes. I thought it was a really good looking game, but I loved the fighting mechanic this massive boss, how I was even going to start to try to take him down. Uh, he had a lot of sweet moves where he would like run and charge me or uh, he could like smash his fist on the ice in front of me. So I had to kind of chip away at him from his toes, but if I get him to trip, I could uh, take out some of his face. It was a task that felt impossible and I love that feeling. I love a boss that makes me feel like it is almost impossible, unsurmountable, and then when I take him down, it feels so good. So Jotun really brought that out. And uh, I just think it's a really cool game. I think it's supposed to be coming out in 2015, is what they said, and I'm looking forward to seeing what other bosses they have in store. I actually spent a lot of time in the Indie Mega Booth during PAX this year, and if you go to the Indie Mini Booth, there's a couple of really cool games. And one that caught my eye is this game by a one-man developer called 12 Minutes. It's called 12 Minutes because you keep reliving the same 12 minutes in this really strange, eerie, Groundhog Day style uh, scenario. You're a man, and you come home, and your wife is making you dinner, and you sit down to dinner, and she tells you that she's pregnant and you sort of react poorly and then a cop busts in and calls your wife by a different name, kicks you and her to the floor, zip ties your hands together and says, you are arrested for the murder of her father. And then everything starts over and you know, as the man, you know that time is restarting and you're living the same day over and over and over, but your wife does not. So you need to figure out in those 12 minutes between when you come home and the cops bust in, you need to find a way to convince your wife that time is restarting, to figure out why time is restarting, and then to figure out what the cop means by calling your wife by a different name and accusing her of murder. It reminds me of Majora's Mask in a way. You have to live 
the same three days over and over and over and over until you get everything right. And I really like that mechanic. I think it's cool. I'm really interested in it. Now they say it's going to come out later this year, so I'm looking forward to getting it.